Okay, I am back with part two on my Q and A on how autism affects me. For part you seen my skill of what I'm good at. This part is about dating and communicating with other people and friends. <coughs> First thing I'm going to get over is something that I think did help anybody else who are high function or. Anywhere on spectrum of autism, you want a date anybody or want to find somebody to date and you can't date any of your friend or anybody you know can't understand you. There are dating sites for people with autism market like called Spectrum Single. That can help you. Or try joining an autism club or group on Facebook or any social media platform you are on. But let me get what I'm going to say. For people like that with autism, it's pretty hard for us to make friends. I had it better right now in high school than I ever had it in in middle and elementary school. I made more friends now than I have ever had. Heck, I did not even have any friend back in elementary school. That my age. In middle school, I would talk to people who were older to me, like teacher and principal. But that would probably come in a different part, in a different topic of my Q and A's. But this part, I did not try to talk to people around my age, like our teen and stuff, until I went high school. When I'm freshman year, and most people don't know about that, I've been now in high school for five years. Years. <laughs> My bad. But, for your high school, so my birthday on August 25th of 98, and I'm right there for the closing in, to when our school starts, it starts on the 19th. I mean, the 17th or 15th. I can't remember, but start right there and then. But then about... Then I started at 13, and I was starting to talk to people, and I wanted to start communicating with our people and talking more. And I was trying to say, I want to change my life after every time I went through this. Some of the people, there may be 5, 10 people I know but my middle school and elementary school that go there. But everybody else don't know how I was back in middle and elementary school. So I decided to do a clean slate and start on new life that with high school. And I started talking to people. I made new friends and stuff. There are people I know that I still talk to that have graduated, but not that many. Then there's some that I still are a good friend with, but I'm unable to get in contact that they are hard at work or in college and that. So yeah. But I tried dating for I still am in the dating game. I'm trying to talk to an a Sierra you here and say I don't know what you think about it, uh I Hope you think about it. I've been trying to find somebody who like me for who I am for five few years now. Did my last year when I was seventeen, I think I talked. I talked to a per girl named Madison Funk, but she had autism, high function autism like me. I would talk to her and I took her to prom. I was going to ask her to be my girlfriend that night, but I decided to wait until we get back to school the day after that. Uh, we had prom on a Saturday. Going to wait ten, half, what we say Monday, about it. And I waited a little too long to one of her friends down in Florida would have autism. He used to live here in South Carolina. He asked her, Do you want to be my girlfriend? And her said, Yeah, do him. So I weren't available, but don't wait too long, but 
We are good at friends. Friends. Uh, so sometimes you can sometimes find people that like you for here. You don't even think about it. But I do have our friend Hudson Madison and her boyfriend are friends of mine. Well, I decided that. And they're not the only ones that I know that have autism. There are another student who is one year older than me who is senior named Noah Aker. He have autism too. He goes to my school. I know him. Then another one who is 16 who is two years younger than me named Dakota. He goes to school with me in high function and autism. Then there are another one that graduated about three years ago and he was on Wi Fi New for talking on one team about he been that he had autism his name is Will Smalls. He let me just say <laughs> well a friend of mine and he played baseball and then he ended up being water boy for one of the colleges. I can't remember what called name it but he a uh, you know, water boy for one of them. Or not water boy but help around we want to play about the football team. I can't remember. But I have other friends who act normal. I have another friend who have a brother with low functioning autism. And he a friend. And I have another friend named Caroline, her sister, and right there on the low and medium functioning end. Yeah. And I'm friend with her, and yeah. Then there are a few other people that I know that have family member autism, to or to you know have a, to get a habit of making friends, and I try to be friend to them. To hire everybody else with them. Then I try to you know talk to other people. It's pretty hard for me to sometimes I get scattered of what I'm going to say, sometimes forget about, but sometimes I try to keep get together. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to get going right now, my bad. But, how uh, also infect me with friends? It right there, right in the middle. Like, I can make friends and sometimes keep them. And sometimes I can have with people bullying me. There are people I have a question it to. And then there are some people who literally bully me. Or like try to make me look like a like dumb with. Mm -mm. Try to make me look dumb, I will look, make you look dumb. The person tried to make And I'm one of the people who is very hard to fool. Even though I have autism, I can't be fooled. You can't fool me. And I know that for a fact. Some kid tried to tell me <laughs> that one thing one day, hoping I would approve him. I did not. It failed for him and backfired. I made him look like a complete fool. But yeah. You have autism and he... Get out of your bubble like up inside and to another chain. Before I had friend and that and before I tried at the Queen Street, virgin back in elementary school. Cool, I was bullied so much I was so shy I wouldn't talk to anybody and I was a loner too. I ended up being a loner from for a few years of my elementary schools. So I've been to three elementary school and Loner, I'll be on it. Being a loner and being very shy can really ruin your life. I've been there. It's never good. And I have to advise for anybody else who feel like a loner, feel like they are a loner, or choose to be a loner. Get out of a board, ruin your life, and get out of that bad habit of being very shy. It can really met you and did it come from somebody with autism to them like me or trying to talk to other people with autism 
uh, I know how to feel. But Jane is that with my auction, whatever, talk about it, being a Mark loner and all that. I nearly came one. It never good being a loner, and it never good being very shy. I actually started slowly broken out of bubble my right year elementary school and started to break out of it out of being very shy and a loner when I'm middle school. Did that when I started changing. I did not fully start making a complete 180 80 when I did not start fully and I mean fully talking to people until I went in high school. That loner saying that I used to act like and being very shy that was completely different when I made it to high school. So I my advice to anybody who choose to be a loner and is very shy, don't go down that path being that it can really ruin your life and make it unbearable. I've been there. It never good. There are always a better option than being very shy and being by yourself and being a loner. You can actually get help to overcome that. And that what I did and that helped me. So to, for anybody who feeling that way, please take my advice. And it can turn out very good. So yeah. To David, you and Nick part.